Ooh, Mario, got a painted turtle. What? Oh, it's an Eastern painted. For over 200 million years, a reptile known as the turtle has been inhabiting the wetlands of our planet. Whether you know it or not, hidden beneath the lily pads of a remote lake or right in the waters of the pond behind your house, they can be found, silently living an elusive existence. My favorite species is the common snapping turtle. Prehistoric in design and armed with a powerful bite and razor sharp claws. This is not an example of a turtle you should ever try to interact with. However, there are a number of species that are completely harmless, safe to encounter, and even handle if you are quick enough to catch one. What's that? Check that out. That is a Midland painted turtle, near perfect specimen. Look at the top of its carapace. It's green in coloration. Wow, that is about one of the best looking Midland painted turtles I have ever seen. Now the way I know that it's a Midland painted turtle is look at the bottom of the shell. You see that real distinct pattern on the plastron? That is a 100% giveaway that this is a Midland painted turtle as compared to an Eastern painted turtle. You'll also notice the very distinct red line running down the spinal length of the turtle's carapace. What I love about these turtles is look at the very distinct pattern on the side of the face. Yellow stripes that then bleed into reddish colored stripes that go down the length of the neck and then span out onto the front forelimbs. And that patterning sort of follows the entire length of the turtle's body. Let's see, how aggressive are you? Bite, you gonna bite? Now, most of the time they won't bite. Now this is a safe turtle species that if you guys are watching, is safe to catch. As you can see, they do have sharp claws. They are capable of giving you a little bite, but it is certainly nothing that you need to be afraid of. So if you're going out into a wetland ecosystem, you're trying to catch turtles, the Midland Painted Turtle is probably your number one target. Although they are extremely fast and can be very difficult to catch, especially if they're out basking on logs, they just plop off the edge into the water and disappear into the murkiness. That's pretty cool. Good start, I would say, to the day. Almost any backyard pond in the northeastern United States is likely to have a Midland painted turtle. These reptiles are incredibly common, and if you know where to look, there's a good chance you will spot one. With that said, catching its nearly identical cousin, the Eastern painted turtle, is a bit more challenging, as in my opinion, they tend to be found in bodies of water that have less human encroachment. Ooh, Mario, got a painted turtle. What? Oh, it's an Eastern painted. Eastern Painted Turtle. Wow! Yes! Nice. Check this out. Okay, so we managed to show you guys the Midland Painted Turtle, which in my opinion is probably the most common painted turtle species that we have here in Ohio, but this is an Eastern Painted Turtle. Now the way that I can tell the difference is the Easterns are a little bit smaller, and look at the carapace. You'll notice there is no distinct line running down the spinal column, which of course is inside the carapace, and then the plastron is completely dark in coloration. Now remember, the Midland Painted Turtle had a very distinct oval design on the bottom of its plastron, but the Midland Painted Turtle does not. And this is also a male, and the way I can tell is he has very long front claws. Check out those claws. Perfect for digging through the environment. And just like the Midland Painted Turtle, they have these very distinct yellow and red markings all over their faces, down the sides of their neck, and then onto their forearms. And that's where they got the name Painted Turtle. I know, you just wanna go back off into the wild. Now you know that tucking into your shell is the way to stay safe from predators. And you may be asking yourself, what would eat a turtle like this, this adorable little reptile? Well, actually the painted turtle can oftentimes fall victim to predators such as raccoons, fox, and sometimes mink, which as we know, are an aquatic member of the weasel family. 
Now, like the Midland Painted Turtle, the Eastern Painted Turtle also is an opportunistic predator. They will feast on small little tadpoles, little invertebrates that you'll find in the water, and occasionally even baby snakes. Look at you. I just saw something moving through the lily pads for a second. I was like, wait a second, it's a turtle. Just naturally had to grab it, and lo and behold, it is the Eastern. Wow. Actually, I've not caught an Eastern Painted Turtle in a number of years, Midland Painted Turtles are much more common than Eastern Painted Turtles, so finding one of these guys truly is a gem. Hi buddy, how are you? Now, we've caught a lot of snapping turtles, and I always have to tell you guys, do not try to catch snapping turtles, but if you go into a wetland environment and you are fast enough to catch the painted turtle, this is certainly a species that is completely safe to handle. Just make sure you always place it right back where you found it. Well, this was pretty cool, getting to show you guys a comparison between the Midland and the Eastern Painted Turtle. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, little guy, time for you to head back off into the lily pads. Here we go. If you thought these Painted Turtles were fascinating, make sure to go back and watch my encounter with one of the world's largest turtle species, the Galapagos Tortoise. And don't forget, Subscribe so you can join me and the crew on this season of Dragon Tales.